Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody was watching one of my Object to Path videos and they wanted to know, could you designate where the path starts? So let's just go to Object and go Object to Path. And on a circle, it's easy. I made my nodes extra big this morning and you can see a circle or ellipse only has one node. It's going to start the path right there. So we're going to select our object. We're going to hold down the shift key and select the path and then, well, I didn't get it. Hold down the shift and select both and hit apply. So it put a, the first object right there on that node. Now, with an ellipse, it's pretty easy because we could take the ellipse. Let's just grab one of them. And we could rotate that ellipse and put that node right over here. So now let's do the same thing. Hold down the shift key, select our circle, and now it put a ellipse on the on that other node. Well, a circle is easy because it only has one node. But what about a square box? If we take this and go shift select a box and hit apply, it's going to put them on those corners. But to make it differently, we could... Uh, and, and this doesn't exactly make sense to do it this way, but it does work. Go up to object and convert this to a curve. Then we can take our shape tool and you see how big I made my nodes. We can grab those two nodes and add a node. Of course, it added a node one that, on this side. We can actually take this node and right click and break it apart. So now if we... If we do this, it'll actually need to make one more, make it four, because I'll show you in just a second, because it's going to put one at the end and the start of this line. Shift select the box and hit apply. So it put it on that node. Now there are two and you can just get rid of it. It won't really matter anyway, but it put it, it started on the end of that line, much like it would a straight line. So let's make it a little bit more difficult. And we'll take a shape tool and grab this. Where do you think it's going to start? It's going to start. I've actually probably broken that one. Up. No, I haven't. So it's going to start right there at that arrow. Take your shape tool or your, your pick tool and pick that, pick that, and hit apply. So it started on that top note. Well, let's say you wanted to start in this corner. So let's back up here. Let's take that node and break it apart by selecting it and right-clicking and break apart. Now take this, shift select the box or your item, hit apply. Now it actually sent two because it's at the end and the start of that line. And we could, you know, we could select and rotate that and, and do all kinds of things. You know, right here you could put them to the on the other side so they'd be on the inside of the, the item. And so that would look pretty cool, and that's kind of even. But on a straight line, the same kind of thing. Let's grab one of these things I made. And if we take, this is a line. It's only got two nodes, one there, one there. So if we select the object, hold down the shift and select our path, and we put four, it's going to add this is a duplicate, so it's going to make five. But see, it put it at the end. Now, if you wanted it right here, uh, several things you could do, but probably the easiest would be to let's make four this time and actually delete this one. Delete this one, and let's say you wanted it just like two inches from that line. We're going to set our nudge factor on. Let's see how long our line is. Yeah, it's 57 inches, so two inches in going to be. Let's make it five inches. Let's take a two-point line and then connect it right through the center of that item and then nudge it over five inches. And then just take the virtual segment delete key and, and delete that line. So now you have five inches past your last bulb or whatever this thing represents. Same thing here. Move it over to that five inches, take your virtual segment delete key, and then get rid of this line. And you have 
you're basically your starting point is five inches off the line. Anyway, I hope that kind of answered his question and thank you for watching.